Hello, Divi Nation, and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add Divi Build highlighted quotes throughout your Gutenberg post. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So, without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so the first thing you need to do is to log into your WordPress admin dashboard. And also, I'd like to remind you that if you want to use this template, it's also over at the post, which I'll link to in the show notes below. So, you can just go ahead, download it, and just use it straight away if you don't want to go through the whole process of building it. All right, so over here, you can see I'm in my WordPress admin dashboard. The very first thing I'm going to do here is to add a new post. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and click on add new. So the post can be anything. It can be also on an existing post. So I'm just going to go ahead here and just say our post. And then the next step is to just go into our default editor. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to add a bunch of text just to simulate a post. So I'm going to make some of this a headline. So I'm just going to highlight it like that. And then I'm just going to make it bold. And I may also want to add some headlines over here. So I'm just going to add a line here and add a headline. So to do that, I'm just going to click here on this plus button. And uh, we see we have a heading here. So I'm just going to call this my heading. All right. So it looks like a blog post, but not a really good one. But anyways, the most important thing here is to add our block. And the block we need to add here is the Divi block. So, okay, let's search for the Divi block. So I'm going to go on add a forward slash and we can see here we have this Divi layout. Now, there's also another way of getting the block and that is to click here on this plus button and just uh, scrolling through all these blocks that we have here in Gutenberg. So I'm going to choose Divi layout. So what we're going to do here is to build a brand new layout in our Divi block. So I'm going to click here on build new layout. All right. So here we need to uh, build this from scratch. So I'm going to click on start building. And then I'm just going to close this for now and go into my section settings. So over here in the section settings, the first thing I need to do is to add a top and bottom margin. So I'm going to click here on design spacing. And then I'm going to come over here to my top and bottom margin and just add 50 pixels. Notice that I've used this chain because the chain allows me to add the same value both to the top and the bottom. Next, I'm going to add some margins. So here again on the left and right, I'm going to set it to minus 5%. And then I'm also going to add a border. So I'm going to come over here and the border needs to be on the left. So I'm going to add, I'm going to click on this tab here, which uh, gives us the ability to add our border just on the left. The size of our border width is going to be two pixels. And then the color here is going to be black. So I'm going to click here on this eyedropper tool and drag this all the way down here to black. Next, let's head over here to our animation. So the animation style we're going to go with is slide. And then the direction is going to be down because by default here it's a center. Next, let's go to animation duration. And we're going to set this at 1500. The intensity needs to be at 200%. And then the starting opacity... Uh, let's set this to 100%. And then finally, here on the animation speed curve, we're going to set this to ease in, ease out. So just leave the default as it is. All right, so pretty much that's all we need to do on our section settings. I'm going to save this. And then next, we're going to add our column structure. And we're just going to go with a single column here for this. And then before we add any modules, I'm just going to close this and go into our row settings. So the first thing we need to do here is to work on our width. So I'm going to click here on design sizing and I am going to set my width here to 90%. And over here on the maximum width, we're going to set this to 100%. Now we're also going to add some animation to this. So I'm going to scroll all the way down here to our animation. And this time what we're going to go with is the fade. So I'm going to choose fade. And let's then add our animation delay, which is going to be 1500 and for our curve, it's going to be ease in, out. Okay, so with this all set, we just need to save. And then now we need to add our text module. So I'm going to click here on this plus button and search for it. And then I'm going to select text. So over here, we can add our own text. So you can just override this with our own text, just like that. And then I'm going to add some quotation marks because this is going to be a quote. And I'm also going to set this to heading three. So I'm going to click here on this drop down and set this to heading three. Now let's stylize the text. So I'm gonna come over here to design heading text, and then I'm gonna make sure I target heading three. So the very first thing we need to do here is to go to our font style. So for now, I'm just gonna choose my font. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose Open Sans, but of course you can use any font that you want. So next, we're gonna come over here to the font style. Now it's important that you set this to italics. And then now let's set our size. 
because we want to make sure we have the right size for our heading text. So I'm going to come over here to heading three text size and I'm going to set this to 2.1 REM. And also on the line height, we need to make sure that here it's set to 1.5 EM. All right. So while we're here on uh, the sizes, we might as well go in and set our sizes for the tablet and the phone. So I'm going to click here on this little icon, go on to the tablet. And over here on the tablet, we are going to set this to 1.5 REM. And for the phone, it's going to be 1.3 REM. Okay, so now that we have all our settings, we can save this. And then we also need to save this one more time and take a look at the final design. So now, as you can see here, our DV block is being loaded in here. And that is our quote. You can see here it has our line. And this is pretty much how it looks. So I'm just going to publish this and then I'm going to do a quick preview. So I'm going to say view post. All right, so I've opened this in a new tab and you can see our animation is working and this is our quote. And as you can see, it's between our contents that is in the Gutenberg blog post. So this is what we've just designed using Divi. All right, so uh, let's do another example. So uh, I'm gonna come over here and add a new post and uh, let's call this our post two. Right, so again, let's start over here with the default editor and we're just gonna add a bunch of text in here and then we're gonna go in and add our inline Divi block. So I'm just gonna click here on this plus button and choose Divi layout. We're gonna click here on build new layout and then we're gonna start building. So what we need to do here is to go into our section settings and let's start off by going into spacing because here we need to add our margins so that our quote has enough breathing space around it. So I'm gonna come over here to margin and set this to 50 pixels and this is both for the top and the bottom. And notice that I've used the chain again. And then over here for the left and right, it's gonna be 5%. And then the next thing we're gonna do here is to add a padding of zero pixels, both to the top and the bottom. So with that all set, I'm gonna save. And then we're gonna come over here and add our columns. So we're gonna go with a single column again as before. And then what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go into our row settings. So here we're gonna go to design sizing because here we need to set our width to 100% and maximum width to 100% as well. So we're gonna save. And then next, we're gonna add a text module. So I'm just gonna search for it. And here it is, text. And then all we're going to do here is to add a quote in our content area, just like that, okay, nothing else. Next, let's stylize this quote by coming over here to design text. And the first thing we need to do here is to change our font. And we are going to use a font called Playfair Display. I'm gonna select that. We're also going to add our text color by coming over here. And I'm just gonna add my color like that. Now let's set our text size because we really want this nice and big. So we're gonna go with 500 pixels. And then for the text line height, we are going to set this to zero. Next, we're gonna head over here to spacing and give this a top margin of 150 pixels. And again, that's just so that we have some breathing space. Now let's add an animation to this by coming all the way down here to animation. And the animation I'm gonna use here is flip. So I'm gonna choose flip. And then our animation direction is going to be centered. So make sure you leave it as it is. And then uh, over here on the animation intensity, we're gonna set this to 200%. And the animation delay is going to be 500. And then our animation speed curve is going to be ease in out. Okay, so the animation there is done. Now let's head over to the positioning. So I'm gonna click here on advanced, click on position, and we are going to go with absolute. So I'm gonna select absolute positioning. And then our location is going to be on the top left. So make sure you set this to the top left. With that set, I'm gonna save. And then the next stage now is to add a text module. So I'm gonna click here on this plus button and we're going to search for text. I'm gonna select it. And over here, I'm just gonna replace my dummy text with my own dummy text like that. And now uh, it's time to set this to heading three. So I'm gonna click on this drop down and set this to heading three. Now let's stylize this by coming over here to design text. And we can set this to italics. And now it's time to work on the sizes. So I'm gonna start off here with my desktop size and this is gonna be 2.6 REM. And it's always a good idea to also go in and set your sizes for the tablet and the smartphone. The reason why you wanna do that is because you want everything to look great in all devices. 
Okay, so here on the tablet, it's going to be at 1.7. And then finally, we need to set this for the phone as well. So I'm going to come over here and set the phone to 1.3 REM. So you can see now that the size is really nice on all devices. So now that we've added the size, the next step is to add our line height because we really want some good space here so we can read this easy. So I'm going to come over here and set our line height to 1.4 EM. And then we're also going to come over here to spacing because ideally we want some nice beautiful breathing space around this. So I'm going to come over here to margin, set this 150, and I'm also going to apply this to the bottom as well. And we're also going to do this to the left and the right margin. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Activate my chain. Now let's head over here to the animation. So I'm going to click here on animation. And this time we're going to do fade. And the animation delay is going to be 2000. So I'm going to set it over here. And the animation speed curve is in ease out. So with that all set, I'm going to save this. And there's also another text module we need to add here. So I'm going to click here on this plus button and search for my text module. Select it. And just like what we did before, we're going to add some quotes like that. And then we're going to come over here to design text and make sure we choose play fade display. We're going to change the color. And now it's time to add our size. So I'm going to scroll further down and set this to 500 pixels. And you can see it right here on the bottom. And then the line height is going to be 0 EM. So I'm going to set it right here. And for the text alignment, it's going to be right like that. Now let's set our animation by coming all the way down here, selecting animation. And what we need here is flip. So I'm going to select it. And the animation direction is going to be center. And the animation delay is going to be a thousand milliseconds. So let's go ahead and do that by just scrolling down a little bit and setting our animation delay. Next, we also need the animation intensity. So we're going to come all the way down here and set this to 200%. And finally, for our animation speed curve, we're going to leave it at is in out now before i continue i'd like to also remind you that if you want to change the style of these quotes you can always come over here to your font and then just go through the different types of fonts that we have here and see what quotes you can get so as you can see here as i'm choosing uh, these different font types it is also changing the quotes look at that so we have different styles here that you can go with and let me just go further down here and let's take a look at that. All right. So anyway, you get the idea. So I'm just going to go back and just uh, set it to my default one, which is play fade display. Here it is. Now let's head over to the advanced tab and click on position. And here as well, like what we did before, we need to go with absolute. So I'm going to click on this drop down and choose absolute. Next, I'm going to set my position right here to the bottom right. So make sure you set it to your bottom right. Now, you don't need to do anything here on the offset. So just leave that as it is. And then we are going to save. Now, what you can also do here is if you're going to be using these quotes, maybe later on throughout your design or throughout your website, you can also save this to the library by clicking here on expand settings. And then you want to save this to the library. But of course, if you just a one off, then, you know, it's fine. You can just leave it as it is. And to save this to the library, you can click here on this uh, icon and you can give this layout a name. You can set it to a category if you want to, to make it easier to find it and then save this to the library. So next time you want to use it, you can just go to your library and just uh, get it from there. It's very easy to add. All right. So with this, I'm going to save and exit. And then like we did before, we're just going to take a quick look at this by first publishing this. And then let's view the post in a new tab. Okay, so here's our post and you can see the animation coming through. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.